to another episode of the Not So Super Fan. So we're back to power. Um, I was skeptical about watching Power because uh, Book Two Ghosts. Um, because well, technically, if you guys watched my last reviews of Power, see uh, the original Power series, Tariq was not one of my favorite characters. He, he's conniving. He got rain and kill. And he was not one of my favorite characters. Yes, he was like his dad, but he's not one of my favorite characters. But you got to give it to the actor, um, Michael Rainey, I think it is. Um, he is a great actor. That's how much I hate. I hate it to because Michael Rainey is a great actor. And he put in so much effort into the character that you come to hate character based off his action. So Power Book 2 is basically, I guess... Um, well, not I guess, but basically his story. And now he's dealing with the aftermath of Ghost being dead. His mom is in jail. Now his mom got him uh, into this school. And he basically has to manage school while trying to get his mom out, trying to get a lawyer. But now with trying to get his mom out, he ends up, you know, going back in the drug game because it seems like the, the St. Patrick family, they cannot step away from that gang, uh, the, the, drug, the drug game. So he's trying to get money to pay this lawyer played by Method Man to, um, before we get to Method Man, but Tasha, she keep lying on her court case that Andre Coleman killed St. Patrick, but not realizing that Coleman was already arrested 20 minutes prior to Ghost getting killed, so it's it's all a run around. Then the DA trying to hide it, Cooper Sacks is trying to hide the fact that he was there. It's a whole lot of conniving, lying, just like power things going on. But for the first episode, it wasn't that crazy, but it's still good. You know, there's a lot of toward the end, there's a lot of revealing stuff going on, and you get to introduce early on to Mary J. Bly's character. Um, forgot her name um but basically there's a backstory as far as her character because Tariq is um tutoring well doing her son's homework who's in the basketball team um Zeke um in the school he's going to so if he doesn't get him to stay in the basketball team that's the deal that he made to stay in the school he does not get to stay in the school. So he got to make sure to, uh, Zeke passes his class so he can stay in the school. And uh, then I forgot the actor's name. One of Mary J. Blythe's son you introduced to, there was an altercation that, that happened in the scene where a party, like he was messing around with some dude's girl and they ended up fighting and later on he ended up killing that dude. That dude is giving me uh, a lot of Tommy vibe. Speaking of Tommy, later, uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, but later on, Tasha changed her story and started accusing Tommy St. Patrick's murder, and she gets slapped with a kingpin. Um, for, I forgot, but whatever she gets slapped with another arrest, but now they're pinning her as a kingpin, the drug kingpin. So it's it's a lot of twists and turn as far as this show goes, just like Power once again. But so far, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm still warming up to Tariq's character, and I don't like him that much as, as of yet. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know if, as, as far as other siblings in the show, will they introduce them more to the show? But we'll see what happens. And I would like to see uh, Proctor's daughter get come back. That's one character, you know? Because he was, like, very much involved in her dad's death. So we'll, hopefully that happened. But so far, episode one of Power Book 2, Ghost, is pretty good. I enjoyed it. Once again, I'm still <laughs> warming up to... Tariq St. Patrick, uh, but we'll see what happens. Um, but guys, if you've been a fan of Power, you watched the show. Let me know what you thought about the first episode of uh, first episode of Power Book Two. Um, do you like it? How do you feel about Tariq being the main character now? Um, are you hoping he gets better? Because there's a lot of people that's going to show up as far as you know that a lot of characters that survive that people don't like, other than Tommy, who everybody like. They are going to get their own spin off or they're going to show up on the show. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and I will be getting back at you for more reviews and reactions.